Hello and welcome back to another episode of Men's Basketball Beyond the Arc. Tristan Hobbs here with Men's Basketball beat reporters Tim LaRue and Andrew Feldman. It's been a while since we've been with you. BU's played four games since then. Tim, uh, what's been going on for the Terriers lately? Well, it's been a tough stretch of games for BU. They've been on the road a lot, had some tough games. Last week at the third round of the NIT tip-off tournament, they played Hampton, lost a tough one there, 51-50, then came back and beat Nevada 66-57 the next night. Then they came home and got a really big win over Cornell, who was a Sweet 16 participant last year. Daryl Parton, who we've seen flashes of scoring from so far this year, scored 30 in the second half alone, finished with 32 and propelled them to that big win. Then they went down to Kentucky, the 10th ranked team in the nation, hung with them the first half, was down by six at the half, but then Kentucky came on the second half and really ran away with the game. John Holland played well, had 14 first half points, finished with 20. It's been a tough stretch, but they've come out of the stretch four and four and ready to take on the rest of the season. Jake O'Brien struggled a little bit the last two games, shooting from the field, only 11 points combined on three of 18 shooting. But there has been some positives for the Terriers. They haven't turned the ball over as much, and they've rebounded the ball better. So look for them to continue their good play. And three more games right remaining for the Terriers before exam break. Those games starting with Bucknell on Saturday at Bucknell in Pennsylvania. And Andrew, uh, some big wins needed possibly here before finals. Right. Obviously, the caliber of opponent is not like Kentucky from before. But look for Jeff Palash to come back as he's been walking around campus without the crutches. So he's nearing his uh, comeback date, as well as uh, junior uh, transfer Pat Hazel and freshman Don Morris have really stepped up, averaging over five rebounds a game. So look for them to continue their inside presence. Also, the team defense has been very good. The only thing that they haven't got is a presence from Jake O'Brien, who has to step up his shooting. Because the Terriers overall aren't playing that good on offense, but their team defense has really kept them in the ball game. So look for them, with the caliber of opponents not as high, to have a good stretch run coming up. Once again, it's Saturday at Bucknell, and then next Thursday they return home to face LaSalle at Aganis Arena at 7 o'clock. Once again, you can cover or catch all the coverage of men's basketball here on WTBUSportsRadio.com.